welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel for those of you guys who are new. My name is Culture Sims and today I'm going to be filming a different kind of video for you guys but hopefully one that you will enjoy. So a lot of you guys love my house builds. Thank you so much for all of the love and support on my house builds even though I don't think they're all that great. Um, but yeah, you guys really like my house builds and stuff on this channel and a lot of you guys are either starting off or don't have a lot of money and I want to kind of do a new like series or even a mini series where I kind of go like room by room showing you guys how I kind of get inspiration for like a house, like a whole house because sometimes the inspiration for a whole house comes from one specific room and I want to show you guys kind of my process on how I do like room by room. So my idea for the series is each video will be a different room, not necessarily to the same house, but just single rooms in general. So today we're going to be focusing on a modern bathroom. And sorry if you guys can hear that in the background, my cats are playing against my door because apparently they can't play throughout the rest of the house. Um, so today we're going to be tackling a modern bathroom and just the bathroom, like there's not going to be anything attached to it. Maybe the next video will add on to it or we will add on to like a different, you know, kind of house that we may be building. Um, but I wanted to do room by room because a lot of you guys do say in the comments that you want to recreate builds or you need inspiration for builds but you don't know where to start or you guys just get so frustrated when you think about trying to create a layout for an entire house and my advice to you is go room by room. Whether you take a piece of paper and you start drawing it out or you kind of look through every item that you have for windows and you write down, yeah, I want this window for you know this kind of house or I want this window for this kind of house and sometimes I even calculate price especially if I'm going to be doing a budget home for you guys because I know a lot of you guys don't have unlimited simoleons like I do so I try and make the house as cheap as possible sometimes and then sometimes I just go crazy and I don't even look at price but it's always nice to sit down and kind of have a plan say I want to have a two bedroom, one bath house with maybe a laundry room, a kitchen, a living room, and maybe one of those bedrooms is a nursery for a baby and a toddler, and then the other bedroom is for my two parents, you know, kind of sit down and think what you want in your build before you start building because you tend to just place things down and then it turns into I'm spending so much money that I don't have or I'm placing all this stuff down and then I close the game and then I decide that I don't like it and then I go back in and I sell it and I sell it for way less than what I paid for it. You know, kind of sit down and really think about what you want in your home. And in the case of just placing things down in the screen, if you place something down and you don't like it, you can sell it and get your entire money back. But if you close out of the screen, you will end up selling it for a used price, which is very annoying. Um, so even if you have enough simoleons, if you're doing room by room, sit there, go through your stuff, place stuff down that you may like, see how everything flows together, and if you don't like, just remove it and then, you know, keep going. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm placing things down and I'm like, okay, well I don't like this, I don't want it, it doesn't match the color scheme I'm going for. I know I want to have a really modern looking bathroom, which for me is like grays and whites and tans. Um, so that's what I went for with the color aspect of the bathroom. I went for a light grayish blue with white trimmed wall in the bathroom. I also separated the bathroom if you guys could see. I wanted this to be a little bit fancy. Um, so the ba uh, the like showers have their own little section back there which you could totally take that same aspect and put your toilet back there and put an actual door on it. Um, I just like the showers back there because if I finish a house to go for this particular room I know that I'm going to want to have uh, two adult sims for the family and I want them each to be able to shower. So uh, that makes it easy without having to put in a whole nother bathroom, which I can if I decide to add kids to the house. Um, if you guys do like how this is turning out already and you guys would like me to build a full house around this bathroom, definitely let me know down in the comments. And as always, if you guys like this type of video where I just go room by room sharing inspirational ideas, then definitely let me know if you guys are thinking about building some type of house that you need 
inspiration for. And if you guys need specific room ideas, say a nursery or a toddler bedroom or a teen bedroom or preteen or adult or living room or kitchen, kitchens are always my favorite. <laughs> um, if you guys need specific room ideas now, definitely let me know what your kind of requirements for your house is. Like, if it's a bedroom, is it a bedroom for two teenage sims, um, a teenage sim, a nursery, two adults, you know, so that I can kind of cater your request to what you're trying to do for your build. Um, of course, if I do this, you won't necessarily see me do price limits because I don't know how much money you have in the game, but I will at least give you decorating ideas or layout ideas that you can use in your game. Um, so hopefully that makes sense for you guys. You guys can request videos on different rooms that you guys would like to see. I'm also still going to be doing full house builds. Do not take that as I'm not going to be doing whole house builds. Whole house builds just tend to take a little bit longer to be honest and sometimes I don't have the time to just sit here at my computer and think what do I want for a house layout? What do I want for a whole house? So, um, house builds will still be coming out and all of that great stuff, but I figured this would be a great little input into the videos so that you guys could kind of see my process of room by room, how I go about decorating things and uh, how I tend to lay things out, stuff like that. So if you guys enjoy this, definitely give the video a like. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button because it's free and it helps me out a lot. And it helps YouTube push out my YouTube channels to other simmers like yourself who may enjoy content on The Sims. There's not many simmers that play The Sims Free Play left, I've noticed. Um, I've been trying to find a good uh, few on YouTube to sit down and binge watch and just kind of enjoy because I do love the game and really no one plays this game much anymore uh, or at least not on YouTube anyways and it's kind of it's kind of weird because it's a really good game. Um, so yeah, if you guys would like more content, definitely uh, leave suggestions down below, whether it be whole house builds or room builds or let's play videos that you guys want to see or, you know, whatever you guys want to see, let me know down below because I try and make my channel more towards what you guys would like to see. I also throw in stuff that I like to do, but that's kind of why I made my second channel for games that I like to play that maybe you guys aren't necessarily interested in that can try and reach like a whole different crowd. So if you guys like Sims 4, definitely go check out my second channel because my Sims more stuff is going to be posted over there as well as Animal Crossing um, and a whole bunch of other stuff like that Stardew Valley, Stardew Valley modded. So if you guys like that stuff the link to my um, second channel will be linked up below linked up below yeah okay LaShonda drinks more coffee It'll be linked up at the top right corner in the eye section and linked down below in the description for you guys so yeah, I'm hoping that this turns out to be something that you guys enjoy and I really like how the bathroom came out. Now I did struggle, I'm not gonna lie, I did struggle pretty hard with a rug and I don't know what it is with this game but either I am just terrible at builds or I need more rugs because I'm this type of person that when I build houses, I'm very OCD with how I build houses. Typically, all of my rooms are symmetrical. And when I say symmetrical, I mean they're even. So if I do a, a four by something room, it's typically gonna be like a four by four, a four by six, you know, it's going to be even. And I did not do that <laughs> with this particular bathroom. Uh, the, the room in the back is a one by three, and then I believe the main room is like a four by five, I believe. And that is very odd for me, but I want to try and get out of my comfort zone with building in different um, symmetrics because I feel like if I can push myself to do it and I feel like it looks good, I will be a little bit less anxious when I do it the next time, you know what I mean? Um, so definitely push myself out of my comfort zone, but then I had this really frustrating issue with my rugs. because. You don't have a lot of rugs in this game. Even though you see a lot of rugs in the game, you don't have a lot of cute rugs in this game, which is very frustrating. And then when you have rugs in the game, they're like, yeah, we'll give you like a one by one tile or like a two by two tile. And I'm like, okay, but like, I would like a nice big symmetrical rug to fit in an unsymmetrical room. That would be lovely. 
Um, so this is how the room ended up turning out. Of course, there's not a lot of decor on the walls, but that is simply because EA has this really weird thing with The Sims Free Play where if you have something attached to a wall, like a tub or a toilet, you can't place things down above a lot of this stuff which is very annoying and I don't understand why they do that because they literally make like the Sims 4 and stuff and you can clearly do that in those games but for some odd reason they're like no 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 can't put things above things in this game which is very annoying um but this is how the bathroom came out I did put two French double doors in or two French double doors I put a set of double doors um, in the bathroom because like I said if I do decide to build onto this room and build like an actual house that'll be the entrance way into the bathroom um, so I did make it functional as if I were building it to another room um, I liked these uh, white windows here they're very simple but they're very modern as well I don't remember where they came from so if you guys ask I have no idea um, <laughs> I can look it up if you guys do want to try and know where something is from I can try and see where it came from but other than that off the top of my head I cannot begin to tell you I did put a very fancy modern light in here I don't know how I feel about it uh, I feel like it kind of fits the theme though it looks really good in my opinion but I don't know if I like it necessarily for the bathroom I also went into dark mode just so you guys could see what it looks like at night as well um, but yeah this is the finished bathroom and I hope that you guys enjoyed again if you did make sure and give it a big fat thumbs up because it's free and make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell it lets you guys know every time I upload a new video because sometimes YouTube just does not do its job and tell you guys when I upload a video even if you're just subscribed so turn on the notification bell too and if you guys would like to see more of my content go check out my second channel again link at the top right corner and down in the description for you guys and I cannot wait to see you all in my next one. Bye guys.